Well, good morning, friends. Good morning, saints, on this actually kind of beautiful day. It is cloudy, but not like super cloudy. And it's cool, but not cold. It's just a really nice day. Um, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> beautiful, quiet. Although, we've got uh, construction happening up at Lock 19, and this morning at like 7.30 we heard them all the way down here to where we live. We heard them banging away pretty hard. It was uh, a little bit disturbing, but hey, after 7.30 they're allowed to make all the noise they want. So we put up with it, just the way it is. Sometimes, I guess yesterday we talked about some things in life you can't change. Guess what? That's something we can't change either. So, you just, some things you just put up with and some things you just keep on going. Um, talking about putting up with things or whatever brings us to our Bible passage for today. Oh, water level's going down just a little bit. Go back on my little peninsula here. Um, Bible passage for today, Proverbs chapter 3. I'm going to ask you, as I've done in the past a couple times, um, to please read all of Proverbs 3. I'm only going to pick out one or two verses here this morning. Um, but it's really worth it for you to find... I don't think it'll take you more than six or seven minutes, if that long, maybe five minutes, to read Psalm 3. Uh, Proverbs 3, sorry. But when you read... Proverbs 3. Would you read it and allow it to sink in? So don't just skim read it quickly. Like actually read it phrase by phrase and maybe take the time to, with each one of these phrases, each one of these instructions, just apply it to your life and say, okay, Lord, how would that look in my life? And think of an example. Yeah, it'll take you, you know, 12 minutes to read it instead of five or six. But it's so worth it. This is the Word of God. This is the most important message you can get. So, this is important. This is critically important. Let's read... Uh, a well-known portion of Proverbs 3, but it is the core, it is the heart of the proverb. And uh, if you get this, the rest of the proverb makes sense. Um, Proverbs 3, verse 5 and verse 6, you know it well. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. Let me add in there. And do not lean on anybody else's understanding. Trust in the Lord. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. Kind of reminds me of, you know, Matthew 6.33. Seek first the kingdom of God. And He will make your ways, your, your straight, your path. Alright. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Friends, that's the, that's the answer to all of the confusion and the many, many, many voices we're hearing today and, uh, you know, the whole QAnon garbage that's going on. Please don't listen to that. Please, please, please don't listen to that. Way too many people are. But you know what? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Christ the Lord. And he will make your path straight. There's a promise you can stand on today. Father, please help us to uh, look to you first. To seek first the kingdom of God and not anybody else's wisdom or understanding.
Father, I pray that today you direct my life. Today, O oh God, direct my decisions, my heart, my eyes, so that, O oh God, I would know the blessing and the joy of following hard after you. Father, today I choose to lean not on my own understanding, but in all my ways to seek first the kingdom of God, to seek your heart, to seek your word, to seek your understanding, and then to follow. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, saints. It's Thursday, and Sunday's coming. If uh, you are coming over to Church on the Hill this Sunday, we invite you to be there. Uh, service starts at 10.30. Be there a little early. And uh, come on in, and we would uh, love to see you. The registration link has been posted on our Facebook page. I'm going to see if I can add it into the description right below on this one on youtube all right i'll try to put it in the description the link for registration for sunday morning all right god bless you have a great day